Rick Chapman, and we're at IPOP, the Celebrity Gaze Exhibition at the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. And I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. Well, first of all, thank you so much. Here we are in this amazing, amazing gallery. I found myself in this um, place with athletes, which feels very comfortable for me. The connection that I have to sports, I get it. And I also get pushing it and being in the zone because when I end up in a photographic session, I often feel that I'm in the zone and time bends. I first met Rick probably in about 2004 or five, uh, and that was when I was first introduced to the work that he had done for ESPN and the SB Awards portfolio. The beauty of this series was, okay, ESPN commissioned me to do 40 athlete portraits. It was, go do your thing, which is a very, very unusual situation with celebrities. Go do your thing, go connect like you connect. Wow, what a compliment, what a gift. I, I mean, I couldn't have been happier. It was perfect. So that's what we did. We were back in touch a couple of years ago when there was an opportunity for the museum to acquire the entire 40 print set, which was really exciting for us. And it came to us as a gift, which was wonderful because the major gifts are really important in helping to sustain our acquisitions program. My whole driving question about making these athlete portraits was who are they off the field and out of uniform. When you walk around this gallery, challenge yourself with replacing any person with a friend's face, your own face. Is it still a good picture to, to see what is the human connection that the viewer can make in the second dimension without knowing who they are? You know, if you look at, at Serena Williams or you see Sean White jumping on his bed. I want a child in this museum to look at that image and feel connection, feel the fun of jumping on a bed. So imagine yourself in any of these portraits because who, who are these celebrities anyway, right? They're people. What I learned coming out of making these pictures was that my belief was totally affirmed that regardless of our accomplishments in life, we really are essentially all the same. And that is the overriding connection point I'm constantly looking for in my portraits.